Well, good morning, everyone. Welcome back to Central Ontario. She's a little frosty this morning and a little windy. I was sitting back on the couch reading the news having my morning coffee today, and it dawned on me that the music on the radio behind me was Christmas music. And I realized I hadn't got this video out yet, so I wanted to put it together today, get it in this week for you folks, hopefully give you a few gift ideas for that special someone in the family that loves working outdoors. I'm going to go over some of the things that I think are great, practical, helpful tools that I love using and I think are good quality and reasonably priced, and hopefully it'll give you a few ideas for that big season coming ahead. So let's call this GP Outdoors Christmas Edition, just a few of my favorite things. Grab a coffee and let's go through them. Cheers. All right, much warmer in here. So I'm gonna get through this stuff as quick as I can for you, but hopefully it'll give you some gift ideas for that special someone. I'm gonna tell you what it is, what I paid for it, and where I bought it. And hopefully that'll give you an idea of the price range and that kind of thing. So let's get to it. First and foremost, Stealth Cam. It's the STC G42. Now I don't know a lot about game cameras, but I did do my research when I bought this. This has been a great camera. I've had it for about 13 or 14 months. It's been outside on a tree and it's lasted through 40 degrees Celsius weather in the summer and negative 38 degree weather for several weeks in the winter time. Even though it says it's only good to negative 10, this thing has never stopped working. It takes great pictures, really high def quality pictures, time stamped, and I actually don't use it to watch deer. I use it for security. It's actually, you may not even probably even notice it's there, but it's sitting in the back by my tractor, by the shed on a tree, so that when I'm not here, I can slide in, pick it up, open it up, and see what's been going on for the few days when I wasn't home. Great little camera, it was $129.99 at Canadian Tire, and I think you can also pick them up online. But they've got a ton of different game cameras out there, anywhere from $60, $70 to $600. But I thought for the money for $129, this thing has been excellent. Really good quality, has different settings, it does video as well as pictures. The video I found has lines in it sometimes, it wasn't good, but the pictures are excellent, night and day. Great quality product. Second thing, small little guy here, this was $399 at Princess Auto. This is a magnetic tool holder. It's great for working with the tractor or working outdoors or anywhere because not only does it stick to anything metal, but it also holds your nuts and bolts or parts that you're taking off the car. $3.99, it's called a Titan. And I picked it up at Princess Auto. Great buy, great purchase, and really handy tool to have. This guy you don't see very often, but whether you snowmobile or you ATV or you're on the tractor or you're outside doing different things, it's a little convex rear view mirror. And when you don't have a rear view mirror, I think this cost me $9.99 at Canadian Tire. Basically, you strap it on your work gloves or wherever you're working, and that way when you need to look behind you, you just lift your arm up and you can see behind you. $9.99, Canadian Tire, great little unit, really helpful when you're outdoors working on the tractor or you're out in the ATV in the forest. This stuff here, I'm telling you about this stuff because this is pretty great stuff. This is O'Keefe Skin Repair. You work outside a lot, especially in the cold weather, and you'll find that your hands get dried out and they crack. But this stuff is amazing. It's incredible stuff. You can get it just about anywhere. O'Keefe Skin Repair. Great stocking stuffer, costs you five bucks, but it's really helpful and it works great. So a lot of folks have said to me over the last couple of months, as well as last year in the winter time, GP, how is it that you're out there working in the forest and you have no coat on? It must be freezing cold outside. And it is cold outside. But here's how I stay warm. When we were kids, we used to have those big, thick, you know, triple knitted uh, underwears called long johns. And uh, they were always a little tough, like to keep you warm in the wintertime. I don't know if you have them. I don't even know why they call them long johns. But when, after you put them on, you have a hard time getting your pants on and your shirt because they were so thick. This set of underwears, of thermal underwear, I bought about three or four years ago. It's the best set I've ever owned. I think it's some kind of a thinsulate material. It's really comfortable. It's always on. That's why you see me outside with no coat on because I don't need a coat because it keeps me so warm. Very thin material. It's made by a company called T-Max. And I picked this, these up at a Mark's Work Warehouse, which is a, brand, a chain we have in Canada. I don't know if you have it anywhere else. But if you can find them, there's a top and a bottom to them. And basically, I think what it does is it kind of creates a heat shield. And it just keeps you toasty warm. They're super comfortable, very flexible. They're very thin, so you can wear them underneath your regular clothes and it doesn't constrain you in any way and it keeps you really warm in the winter. 
That's how I keep warm. Okay, a little bit of safety. These are Stanley safety glasses. Now I know you're thinking there's a ton of different safety glasses. What's the big deal? These have got to be the most comfortable safety glasses I've ever owned. And I love them because they don't touch the face, but they wrap around the eyes. They're very comfortable. They fit great. They're anti-fog and they're about 15 bucks at a Lowe's or a Home Depot. And I believe my daughter picked these up for me. It was a two pack for about $25. It's got your regular lenses as well as I guess for the summertime, it's got tinted lenses. You got a tractor? How many times have we seen videos about people trying to put their diesel into the top of the tractor and spilling it? So I picked this up at Princess Auto for $10.99 and it's basically a replacement spout for your any standard gas can and it has a stop mechanism so it's a no drip spout. Put it on, turn it sideways, it's got a little lip here. Take the top off your gas tank on your, your tractor, put it up on top, rest it on the side of the gas tank. Push down, it releases the diesel, let go, instantly stops it. I tap it once or twice, there's no more drips. Take the can away. No more diesel on the top of my tractor hood. Great little unit. Now this thing we picked up online, I actually got this as a gift. But if you've got a cabin or cottage and you're out in the woods, this, these things are actually pretty handy. I think it was about $29. It's made by a company called General Patented Product. I don't know where it was picked up, but you can find them online. And it's basically, it's a five watt solar floodlight for the sides of the house. And you'll see above me, I've got one outside. They work great. Now, of course, not so good in the snow in the winter, because once you get a layer of snow on top of the panel, it stops working, but it shines light really bright and very far into my parking area. If anything comes within six feet of it, it's a great little light should be above me. Let's move to the tractor. So you guys have seen me put these on about a year ago on my tractor. I love these floodlights. These are made by a company called Unibond. It is a 1260 lumen floodlight. And it's not just a floodlight. The outside lights are floodlights. The middle lights on this unit are spotlights. And it does a great job of lighting up the work area behind and in front of the tractor. This thing was 19.99, this light at Princess Auto. And it's been a great light, really sharp, works. I've had it all four seasons through the coldest winter, through the heat of the summer, and these things always work. And they provide a really great illumination of what's going on in front of you or behind you. Put them on the tractor, you folks may remember back last year, I sourced out these brackets from uh, Messix down in Pennsylvania. They're made by a company called Billy Works out of Pennsylvania. It's an aluminum bracket padded nicely so that it doesn't scratch or chafe your rocks and they go on really easy as a pinch bracket and the actual lighting surface or the, the bracket to hold whether it's a light or something else you're putting on your rocks you can move it 360 degrees around so you can get the right angle on the rocks love the brackets they were $31 US out of Messick's out of Pennsylvania great bracket and really handy it comes in three sizes so basically you measure your rocks Go on Messick's part website and you'll see them all listed there and just order them up and get them in. Okay, so let's talk forestry. You're out in the forest working hard. Some of the tools that I use, the Mingo marker. You guys saw I did a video on it a couple of weeks ago. This is a must have tool. This will cost you about $50 Canadian up here. You can also get them direct in the US out of Montana from Mingo marker themselves. But, but if you're out there blocking rounds, this is a must have tool. It works really great marks all of your lengths evenly and gets it done really quick and practically. Got to have one of these. Great Christmas gift. The Fiskars hatchet. This is an X7 Fiskars. I love this hatchet. I've had it for about a year and a half. Really well balanced, sharp, easy to use, and she cuts well. It comes with a little sheath. And I think this cost me about $35 to $40 Canadian. I got it on Amazon.ca. But it's a really handy tool to have with me. You probably see me carrying it in my carry-all. It's always there and it's, uh, it always comes in handy. You got a chainsaw, especially if you have a steel. I'm, I assume this works with you know similar chains regardless of what make it is. But as you know, my equipment steel. This two-in-one sharpener, is this thing is a must-have. I think it cost me about $45 Canadian. 
and that allows you to sharpen really easy. Make sure you take the rakes down as well as the cutting edges on your chain. Okay, let's talk about work gloves. I'm that guy that goes into the big box store and immediately sees the big bin of discounted work gloves because I love trying out different work gloves. And I've got to say that I've had these for several months now. These are Grippo chainsaw gloves, but I actually use them for just about anything I do now outside. They're actually chainsaw gloves. The left hand is actually filled with ballistic nylon. But what I really love about these, I'm not sure what hide they use, but I've been using them for months. And as you can see, they're taking a licking and they're doing just fine. No rips, no cuts. The palm is doubled up with the hide and it's a really tough hide. And these are probably the best work gloves I've had in a long time, which is why now I use them doing everything, not just chainsaw work. But these will cost you, I think, around $25 or $30, but really great gloves, comfortable with a nylon wrist, and they fit great and they work well outside. They take a beating. Your safety forestry helmet. Again, this is a Grippo. Uh, it's not a steel, it's not a Husqvarna. Really well priced compared to the others, but I love this helmet. It's lightweight. It's got a full metal mesh face mask, which is not only good just for safety, but also as you've seen it when I've been in the forest, it helps to keep the bugs out of your face because unlike some of the other masks that only have a half shield, this has a full shield down. So it's very helpful not only for protection, but also to keep those insects, those deer flies, black flies and the like from getting in underneath the mask and biting you while you're trying to work. It's got a uh, six point harness in here for your helmet mat, as well as it's adjustable. So it fits really nicely around the crown of your, the back of your skull. Tighten her in nice and firm. And it's got your ear protection, which I believe is up to 30 dB. And these snap in and out if you need to talk while you're out there in the forest. They fit really well. And instead of having to bring, you know, safety glasses, forestry helmet, and ear protection, you've got it all in one unit and you just have to throw this in the back of the trailer and you're done. Great unit. Last thing for forestry is your chainsaw chaps. There are a lot of different brands out there. I love these Husqvarna chaps and these were I think about $115 here in Canada, but they're great. Uh, they're filled I believe with ballistic nylon, might be Kevlar, I'm not sure. But what I really love about these pants is they fit well and especially if you're over six foot tall unlike some of the other chaps that you know start to creep up into your shins these will fit right down to your boot comes with a pocket for throwing your wedges in and the pocket opens at the bottom and as well the bottom of the chap actually wraps around your whole calf back and front not just the front they easily snap together with snaps here just pull them tight and you're done easy to put on safe and they fit really well, even if you're a tall person. Alrighty, well I hope that was helpful for some folks or informative. Just some of the stuff I've been using outside over the last year or two that I think are really helpful. So hopefully that'll help you fill the stocking or put a little something special under the uh, tree this year. Thanks for sticking around, I hope you enjoyed it. If you like the channel, please click subscribe, hit the like button, and if you wanna know when I'm posting videos, just click that little bell. Have a wonderful week with your families, and all the best. Cheers.